This is Unity, Joy of Life. I'm Nancy Norman, and this is your weekly wisdom. There's an ancient, ancient legend about a wise old king who called his wise men together. And he told them, I want you to go out and compile the wisdom of the, of the ages and put them in a bound book so that we can leave these great truths for the generations to come. So the wise men traveled near and far. They searched and researched and searched and researched and, and followed every lead for the wisdom of the ages. Finally, they concluded their work and went to the king with 12 huge volumes, 12 huge volumes. And the wise old king was delighted. He loved their work. And he knew that he could trust those wise, wise men. However, he said, this is tremendous. But it's so lengthy. It's so lengthy. I'm afraid that no one will read it. You must condense it. Condense 12 huge volumes condense the wisdom of the ages? Well, the wise men left immediately and they set to work. They were dedicated. They pondered and thought and thought and pondered until at last they had finally reduced the wisdom of the ages to one single sentence. That's right. The wisdom of the ages they can condense to one single sentence. And when the wise old king read that sentence, he was overjoyed. That's it, he said. That's it. That is the sentence. I am so overjoyed. That is the wisdom of the ages. As soon as the, as the people of the world know this, their problems will be solved. And then he read the one single sentence that sums up the wisdom of the ages. And this is it. In every moment of our lives, let us be aware and live in thankfulness and praise for what God is doing and the wonders that are occurring in our lives. In every moment of our lives, let us be aware and live in thankfulness and praise for what God is doing and the wonders that are occurring in our lives. That one single sentence is the wisdom of the ages. Thankfulness and gratitude are indeed the wisdom of the ages. When we praise and give thanks for what we have, the law of gratitude takes over and increases in abundance. We can praise a, a weak and frail body into health, wholeness, strength. We can praise a failing business or finances into success, prosperity, and affluence troubled relationships into loving, happy, nurturing relationships with those that we hold near and dear to our heart. When we are grateful, or when we have a grateful heart and a grateful mind, the universe rushes forth and bestows its gifts and wonders upon us. We become divinely irresistible to our heart's desires. From 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, we read, God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance. God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance. This Thanksgiving, let us remember this ancient wisdom and put it into practice on a daily basis. Remember, it is God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And it is our good pleasure to receive it in gratitude 
and Thanksgiving. Have a beautiful day. The may the wisdom of the angels be with you. Happy Thanksgiving. My heart, my mind are filled with gratitude and thanksgiving for you. God bless you. Have a fabulous day.